Recycling for kids. Do you have a special bin box in your classroom where you place your used papers? Have you ever seen garbage cans in restaurants and on the street that say recycle? At home or at school, you may be encouraged to recycle things like bottles, paper, and other items when you're finished with them, instead of just throwing them into the trash. But what is recycling? Recycling is taking used materials like cans, plastics, newspapers, magazines, and glass bottles and turning them into new products that we can use again. So why is recycling important? Well, instead of making an entirely new item each time we need something like plastic jugs, bottles and cardboard, with recycling, we can use plastic jugs, bottles and cardboard and make new things. Used plastic jugs that hold things like milk can be cleaned, melted down and made into new jugs. Glass bottles can be crushed and melted and then formed into new glass bottles. Cardboard can be chopped up, washed, and heated to make things like cereal boxes, paper towels, and tissues. Recycling also protects natural resources like trees, minerals, and oil. For example, most paper is made from trees. But if old paper is recycled, fewer trees are needed to create new paper. Recycling also uses less energy. It reduces pollution in the air, water, and land, which protects the environment and the earth. There are three steps for successful recycling. First, items to be recycled need to be collected. You might have noticed that in addition to your regular trash cans or bins, you may have a blue or green can too. Lots of communities provide these cans in addition to the regular trash cans. You can put your recyclable items in these cans. They are then picked up by big trucks, like your trash. But unlike your trash, the items in the recyclable cans are taken to the recycling centers. Second, the items must be sorted into different categories, like paper, glass, aluminum, and plastic. That's because each material is recycled differently from the other. So it's important to keep the paper with the paper and the plastic with the plastic. Third, the recycled items must be processed at a recycling plant in special ways depending on what the item is. For example, magnets are used to separate different types of cans, and then they are washed and smashed. After that, the cans are melted down in a hot furnace, and then the metal is formed into something new. Paper, on the other hand, is chopped into tiny pieces, then turned into a pulp by adding water. After that, it's bleached, and chemicals are added. Then it's ready to be made into new paper. Pretty neat, huh? One of the goals of recycling is to reduce waste. When you think about the ways you can help cut down on waste, remember these three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. We've already talked a lot about recycling, but what about the other two R's? To reduce simply means to cut back on the amount of trash you make. Instead of getting a new piece of paper every time you want to draw a picture, try using the back of an old piece of paper. If you bring home lunch to school, instead of using plastic bags for your lunch items, try using containers that can be washed and reused again. Reusing is finding a new way to use trash so that you don't have to throw it out. For example, you could make an empty plastic milk jug into a bird feeder. You can also see if something is fixable before you decide to toss it out and get a new one. Add recycling to those other two R's and you've got three great ways to help the environment and decrease the amount of trash in our landfills. The best part? It's something that you can work on every day. And it can be fun too! Here are some other ideas on how to reduce, reuse, and recycle.
Ask your parents to bring their own reusable bags to the grocery store instead of using the plastic ones. Instead of throwing out your old socks, make a sock puppet or a sock snake. Think of an item in your house, like empty cereal boxes, that can be recycled or used in an art project. Donate your old clothes that don't fit anymore. You could give them to a friend, a cousin, or another family member. Or take them to a place that accepts clothing donations near you. Don't forget to ask your parents for help. There are a lot of things that can be recycled. Tin cans, cereal boxes, glass jars, newspapers, and mailers. Even used car tires can be recycled into rubber mulch for your school playground. But there are also some things that cannot be recycled. So it's important to know if something can or cannot be recycled before you put them into the recycling bin. Even if you haven't recycled before, you can begin today. Get a clean garbage can or box and put a recycle label on it. And remember to reduce, reuse, and recycle. When you do, you're helping to save the planet. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. For more educational resources, click the link below.